um, that it needs to be manipulated. There's multiple windows. This clearly is not an application that could be created in standard Swing with all of the features that um, it requires. And it is an open source application. Um, you're encouraged to contribute to it, to get plugins for it, um, and become part of that community. And so now I will switch over to Soran. Thank you, Gretchen. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Zoran Shevaret, uh, and I'm a researcher at Artificial Intelligence Laboratory at the Faculty of Organizational Sciences in Serbia. Uh, I'm also the founder of the Neuro Project, which is an open source uh, framework for creating <coughs> neural networks in uh, Java. Um, that framework uh, allows us uh, to very easily create uh, neural networks. For example, anyone who knows uh, only the basic of Java can learn the framework in about uh, half an hour and start uh, using it. Uh, that was one of the uh, main goals when we started creating this, this framework, although there were uh, many others. Uh, we are also using that framework in uh, teaching neural networks in, uh, as a part of the course on intelligent systems at our university. Um, so this framework is uh, very uh, suitable for the beginners, but uh, thanks to its uh, uh, let's say domain-centric design, it can be uh, very easily extended and customized uh, by the advanced users so they can experiment with uh, different types of neural networks and uh, different types of learning algorithms. Uh, uh, so far, uh, it is a general uh, neural network framework, but it has uh, also some add-on tools uh, so it can be used to solve uh, real-world practical problems like uh, image recognition, optical character recognition, stock market prediction, and other uh, typical uh, neural, net neural network applications. So far, uh, the project has uh, been developing very good. Uh, I would, uh, we have a very nice community, friendly, supportive. Uh, we are getting uh, very interesting contributions. And uh, what I would like to mention is the recent uh, uh, collaboration with the Ankle project, which is uh, another uh, Java neural network framework. So our two projects were top in the field, and uh, but take uh, different approaches. Uh, the Neuroff was the one that used domain-centric design, but uh, uh, because of that, it had some issues with uh, uh, large problems uh, and uh, large data sets, while the ANCOG uh, had, uh, uh, is optimized for dealing with, uh, uh, optimized for speed and dealing with exactly those kind of problems. So in, uh, our collaboration, it is very uh, interesting synergy and we expect uh, uh, to gain much in the future. Uh, so, uh, at some moment, uh, we decided to take uh, the whole project to the next level and as a part of that direction is porting this uh, uh, project to the NetBeans platform, uh, especially the, uh, our application, which has graphical user interface for creating neural networks. We already had uh, one uh, application for creating neural networks. It was a uh, composed uh, uh, as a set of wizard system which uh, allowed user to customize and uh, from to create neural network in, in two simple steps but uh, our goal was to create a, a truly uh, rich ID for uh, neural networks and uh, here is how, how it looks like as you can see it uh, has all uh, things that the usual neural network ID has here we have a project view which contains neural networks and data that networks will operate with. Here we have a, a, a navigation view where we can pick the various components of neural network and look at their properties. And here is how the uh, wizard, one di wizard dialog looks. This dialog creates uh, this kind of neural network. It is a well-known, uh, most commonly used so-called multi-layer passive to networks. And here we can explore and uh, use that network. Uh, we think that it is a really big uh, step for our project, and that it will benefit a lot. We will benefit a lot from it because uh, it will uh, allow end users to uh, work in a very comfortable environment and to do all operation with a simple interface, just drag and drop and point it and click. So here I also forgot to mention we are creating palette and a visual editor so uh, someone can very easily add 
more components to this neural network, add more neurons, add more la layers of neurons and stuff like that. Also, uh, we think that porting to NetBeans platform will improve the overall quality of our application, that uh, it will be easier to extend, to add more features to it, easier to maintain, thanks to the update mechanism, and uh, in, in some way it will ensure our future development. Because uh, from our experience we can say that it is, this is the third version of the uh, graphical application user interface, because at some point uh, previous application got messy and we were at the point where we had to decide are we going to start this all over from the beginning or we are going to completely abandon that application. We think that uh, porting to NetBeans platform will allow us to continuously grow without having to go uh, back. So that's it. <laughs> so, um, my name is Ben Neumas. Um, I'm from Mendes.com, uh, GmbH from Germany. And um, my work is a senior uh, system engineer and software architect, and I'm the lead architect of that project. And that was last year that you chose the world mayor. Um, what we do is uh, we provide a big and large uh, application for satellite network management. That is everything from planning and touch networks um, um, up to uh, monitoring and controlling those in operational state and uh, even doing uh, monitoring stuff for the communication that's uh, going across the satellites. So um, we started with this application uh, back in 2001. And uh, we started with a pure string application with our own framework stuff written and uh, with a new project coming up, there was a decision to be made if we continue to use our own stuff or if we move to somewhere else. And um, we decided to not do this on our own. Uh, we had enough uh, work to do just maintaining our business logic. So um, we put it up in the platform, which was a natural choice because of swing-based development back then. And uh, I think there was nothing around then as well, so quite easy choice. Um, it's quite a big application. Um, it's uh, over a million lines of code and uh, over uh, 1,100 or 200 modules. It's the largest known NetBeans platform application. Yeah, probably. L l largest known. So maybe there are some more out nobody's talking about. Um, and um, yeah, it's used typically uh, with uh, defense process at the moment, but it's not limited to that. So um, we got a screenshot, so you may get an impression. Um, what you can see there, it's a, uh, it has not typical IDE style, um, as we get from Sara, so um, there is no project view or uh, uh, similar things, but we do, re do reuse things like the property sheet, we do reuse things like navigator stuff, so um, um, things are available, we have uh, those subcomponent things, um, all the UI stuff, all the integration is there. Um, we, uh, we use uh, additional things as a visual library. Um, it's not shown on the screen shirt here. Um, it's a kind of a graph based uh, visualization tool kit, um, which allows for really easy interaction uh, with users and, uh, uh, and not only for displaying but for interactive design as well. And um, we're, we're using it to build uh, models of uh, satellite ground stations and from satellites as well. Uh, device based, so uh, probably <coughs> something you would expect from tools like uh, a Simulink or, uh, you know, from some such stuff. Um, there are different different areas of application. What you see here is a, uh, a map representation with some uh, uh, data showing where the, uh, uh, how good the communication is from the satellite. But we have uh, monitoring control stuff that works across satellite as well, just flying written completely in Java as well. And all those different tools um, that were um, was my time control application back in 2000 was a complete separate standalone application. Um, we got a uh, C++ application that was uh, for the monitoring of the uh, uh, communication of the satellite. And um, all this was now integrated in one large application, so um, that's what we do. Um, integrating all those three different big applications, rewrite them partly, but reuse a lot of the, uh, the libraries we already had. So we were doing what, what Gary was pointing out. We were writing a platform for our 
our domain based on the NetBeans platform and then we use it for all the different kinds. So um, we deploy this as a one big application or a small application. So you can just get the monitoring and control part somewhere installed. You can get just the, uh, the communication satellite stuff installed or planning stuff installed or a combination of those. Um, you can use it for um, in-orbit delivery of the satellites for the tests that are applied there. So um, we're actually doing this in a real, on a real large scale. So um, we get over 200 deployments. Um, with over 200 org databases behind that. And um, we can do this because we have this update mechanism from the platform. So it's really easy to roll out new updates for changes for fixes, patches, for new features. Uh, even all those um, deployments are probably not identical in the end. So um, you, you never have the uh, possibility to reach all those stations. Some may be offline. So um, you have to make sure all this works, and um, thanks to the module system, we can do that. So um, yeah, that's probably the story. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, my name is Anton Epple. I'm uh, from Appleton IT Consulting in Munich, where we are doing um, training and consulting mainly for the NetBeans platform. And I got in touch with the NetBeans platform many years ago when I was looking for a framework for our applications at uh, the bioinformatics company I was working for back then. And um, I, I actually I visited uh, NetBeans long ago, but I didn't feel confident to use it because there was not much information like uh, seven years ago about how to use it. Uh, so we created our own framework and um, went with that until uh, well, we found out um, that it's really a mess uh, to, uh, to maintain your own framework over a long time. Um, so like a couple of years ago, I revisited NetBeans, and back then, it, I think it was release number 5.0, mm -hmm. um, we found that there's enough information now for us to feel confident enough. We did some small projects and evaluated it, and um, this is actually one of the uh, first application, first commercial applications uh, that I created on the NetBeans platform. And it's uh, for the pharmaceutical industry and for, um, for universities who are using it to evaluate um, large data sets. Um, in the pharmaceutical industry it's for example used to analyze probes of patients before and after treatment and we are running statistical analysis on that. Um, to find out which genes are expressed in a different way and uh, uh, to find significant genetic networks and, and, and find out the biology behind, uh, uh, behind the experiment. Um, so when we came to the NetBeans platform, and when I had a look at the NetBeans platform first, I was coming shopping for features. So I, want, I wanted to have a replacement for our Windows system. I wanted to have a replacement for our update mechanism that I don't need to maintain. But um, that was only uh, that was what we were coming for, and we we really were impressed uh, what is there in the NetBeans platform in, in in terms of features. But what was more important, and what we learned through the adoption of the NetBeans platform, is that uh, there are architectural principles in there that are that really help you to create maintainable and uh, very easily extendable. Uh, applications. So we came shopping for features, but we stayed for the architectural principles. And um, well, after a while, um, I left that company I was working for. And uh, while I was wanting to get rid of my old uh, of my old platform, um, I adopted a new one. And now I'm working for the platform again, in a way, um, and giving trainings for it. But it's been a great experience, and it really paid um, to use the platform for this application. Um, which is uh, which is available now in I think the it's 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 seventh release and uh, still walking strong. So that's uh, my story. Thanks. Thanks.